Now I want to copy uh, the following tracks. Piano, drums, cellos, uh, and skip the viola. So here we have a piano, cellos, and the drums. And I want uh, to copy them right here. And now I want to create a new track. Uh, group it with the strings and this will be our basses basses mm, and let's load uh, the patch Whoop, uh, wrong one. Um, turn off the reverb perch samples and set articulation to staccato we are going to copy the virus part into the basses and now we have to solo the basses open the editor and we may need to um, make sure whether they still sound good or not <laughs> skip them in this octave okay yeah. depending on your library you may need to change the octave the register of the copied notes but in this case I think it's okay all right let's let's um, do something with the vials here right now um, let's create a new pattern mm -hmm. let's highlight the piano to, make, to, to have a reference in chords we be, uh, remember we built our music upon the chords uh, let's solo the violas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This will be our basic pattern based on the chords. Let's, as you can see, the pattern fits the notes of the chord. Mm, let's copy it with the next bar. Let's move it. Uh, let's um, fit it to the chord. And let's have a listen. Um, humanize. Okay. Nice one. What else do we have in the tutorial? High strings. Let's create a new track. Let's call it High Strings. Above the vials, and let's load a um, violence patch. Let's say 
Let's save first violins. And again, turn off the reverb, update sample pool to purge the memory. Leave the arco articulation untouched. Um, let's create a MIDI item. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's add. Let's overlap the notes to enable um, legato mode and let's lower the velocity. Let's have a listen. Okay. And then let's let's um, add some mod wheel here. Okay, what do we have right now? I think the violins are a bit too loud. Let's lower the modulation. And then uh, the basses are a bit loud and the violas could use a bit more loudness. Okay, let's create a new uh, uh, group. Uh, brass and create a trombone track. Create a new MIDI item, load the trombones, again purge uh, the memory from samples, turn the river off, and uh, solo the part. Let's take a look at our chords. And we're going to add some notes. Ooh. I'm leaving some space here um, to simulate uh, <laughs> a breathing uh, 
of the uh, of the trombone players to you know add a bit more uh, realism to the part. And so far, this is our our bars nine through twelve. Let's uh, copy the all all the, um, the tracks except the violins, the high strings, and copy them to the next four bars. We are simply repeating the same thing over and over again. We're going to duplicate the chalice part. Mm -hmm. And uh, delete the MIDI boxes. Let's rename it to Chalice Short. Create a MIDI item. Or not. Um, according to the tutorial I wrote, we're copying the basses, uh, double basses part. Let's open this to switch to staccato. Switch the uh, Chalice to staccato articulation. Let's solo the cellos shorts. Let's listen if this will sound right. <laughs> Yeah, they do sound right. Okay, let's go back to our violins, high strings. Let's make a small change here. Um, okay, let's do something uh, different. Let's rename this it to first violins. Let's copy it into high strings again. Things. This is a bit different from what I wrote in the tutorial. Let's delete this part and this part and let's open the high strings to turn the legato off. This way we'll be able to play two notes at the same time. If, if I would uh, keep the legato mode on uh, it wouldn't work because this particular uh, library does not have a polyphonic legato, meaning it cannot play uh, two notes at the same time in uh, legato mode. Okay, let's change change this these notes here. Um, let's according to the tutorial, let's make let's turn these notes not. Uh, Let's not use the fifths of the chords, but the root notes. And uh, let's shorten these notes because we won't be having any legato, so they do not have to overlap. Let's copy the notes and uh, let's pass the notes an octave higher. Let's lower the velocity to make the attack smoother. And in the tutorial, it's actually explained uh, by by making this uh, second violins. So we can actually load second violins patch, delete this one, and load the second. The second violins are a smaller section, so they they sound smaller as well. Um, keep the arc cool. Uh, articulation on, turn the legato off, turn off the reverb, purge the memory, and let's have a listen. Okay, let's duplicate the basses part here, 
again. Let's call them masses long. Delete the boxes and move the long channels part. Copy and pass it to the basses. Let's have a listen to this here. Oh, let's change to Arco articulation. And let's see if this will work. Yeah. Okay. This is what we have so far. It doesn't sound uh, right just yet. Um, let's let's do something different from what is in the tutorial. Let's change the the the, the modulation for the trombones. And uh, let's lower them a bit. Okay, and let's move them here. Okay, it, it, it may uh, actually work. Alright, let's copy some things. Let's copy everything from these four bars into the next. No changes at all. We are going to skip the bar, the 21st bar, to, to create a, a, a short pause here later on. And we're going to copy this. the same thing to bars 22 through uh, 25 and all the way to 29th bar. We have skipped the 21st bar so let's 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 add a single bar on our piano track. Let's open it in our MIDI editor and let's add a couple of notes, D notes. You know, let's see our velocities and adjust them according to the pattern in the tutorial to simulate notes fading away. Let's make them longer to, to keep them uh, uh, to make them sound for longer okay let's have a list look at our violins is our MIDI item. Let's add a long D note in the sixth octave with a bit lower velocity and uh, let's change the modulation like it is on the in the in the tutorial. This would work, but right here we have a slight difference. So let's uh, let's make it like this one, and they should fit better. And uh, 
let's make the same pink here. Well, it, it, it will work. Let's add a note to log cellos, a G note. With no changes in modulation. Um, let's make a small change in modulation after all. Let's go back to the Epic Drums track. Right here, um, let's do something different. Let's copy uh, this rhythm from a single bar. Let's copy it into our 21st bar. Oh. Okay, better. Uh, and let's compare it with our I'm using different notes from what is uh, pictured as a pattern in the tutorial because I'm using a different instrument than what I used uh, when I was writing the tutorial itself. Okay, and let's add something uh, new. Let's create a new section. Winds. Let's group it, let's say here, and let's add a new track, call it a piccolo flute, let's load a piccolo, and since I do not have uh, my usual uh, Sun samples library here, I'm going to use Contact Factory for winds and uh, let's find a piccolo. Turn off the reverb, merge the samples. So, oh, oops. Hmm. And let's take a, take a look at, uh, at our pattern one. Wrong one. Copy um, glue items. I just merged two uh, media items together. And uh, let's uh, let's add some notes. It's actually easier to work backwards in this case. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, enlarge this. Uh, 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 make it longer. And let's change the velocities because this particular level works well on, light, on velocities. And let's ch add some um, change in expression. In this case, I'm using the expression uh, uh, control because um, factor does not uh, work with modulation. And let's add something like this and have a listen. Okay, it will work. Let's see what we have here. 
Next part, we are going to create the rest of the elements of the tracks and nodes and create our grand finale, and that will be a complete, uh, completed track. <laughs>